Alright, welcome back. I uh, just shot Lang again and quickly apparently left as I was refocusing the window on spot up on DOS box. <coughs> but let's get back to the my office. I have to make a phone call. Now let's Case Officer Thorn. Welcome to Interlink. Mission directives for Case Officer Thorne. You have to investigate Procat and call Jonathan Blake. Contacts, that's a huge number. I already have it written down now, so. Let's see. Speakerphone. And it's 0 1 1 4 4 1 7. talks really loud. Ah, yes. David Holt. An excellent tracker. But alas, the boy lost his nerve at a key point in four print. Nearly compromised the mission, I'm afraid. I've quite a bit more data, but I can't share it over the phone. Um. Well, any time would be fine. I'm at home more or less all day, except for the odd trip to town for groceries or a new musical release. I'd welcome a chance to chat. All right then. I guess we have Case up. Officer Thorne. How the hell could Blake know about Ying? My contacts at MI6 say he's out of touch. Let's check him out. He must, they must just listen in on everything I do, I guess. Every time I do anything, they know about it right away. Anyways, let's save the game. Just because. And let's go to London. Disc 1, huh? So that would be 3. Disc 1. Hopefully. Alright. Let's talk to Blake. Ding dong. I'm in the back. Alright then. Thorn, I've been expecting you. Please have a seat. I'd hoped this Procat affair would stay in the distant past where it belongs. I was working with the agency to take down Nikolai Melnikov. They called him the Butcher of Jehalabad because he terrorized the locals by putting bombs in children's toys. After Afghanistan, he turned capitalist and went on to form Procat. You know, it means for hire in Russian. The bloody bastard. We had to do something. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I'll gather that information I promised you. All right. Let's... Hand of the basket, though, huh? I wasn't doing anything, I swear. Here you go. You'll need this more than I ever will. I call this my Encyclopedia Procat. 
compendium of facts and figures and Prokhet activity, past and present. As far as I know, there are no more than a handful of sly mercenaries. Don't be fooled, though. They're all lethal in their individual ways. Everything I know about Prokhet is in this folio. I have several stored at strategic locations as a precaution. If Melnikov isn't in his grave, don't you think he might come after the man who tried to put him there? The Yellow Pages are no mere academic exercise. Consider them a survival manual. Put them to good use during your investigation. If only I could be sure that I put him in his grave. The car exploded, yes. But I had to withdraw once the device was planted, and Six never confirmed the kill. Probably only formality, but a professional likes to be thorough. Apparently, the new leader doesn't want to suffer Melnikov's fate. He's known only by his code name, Mirage. And that's exactly what the bugger is. No photographs, sightings, not even a bloody shadow. I'd wager even Procat members don't know who he is. For her. No reason Mirage has to be an heir. No, no. It was my pleasure. Yeah, he's weird. Hello. Case Officer Thorne. Hmm. All right, then. about her. Goodness, Fry. Grendel. Monica. This guy. Regime. saying something here, I know it. This is riveting, isn't it? All right. Let's go back to Washington. Um, let's look into this person's office. Actually, I might as well just 
cut the video off here. It's getting close enough. When we come back, we'll explore their offices.